Hey Canucks fans, the Canucks have made a trade ahead of their game against the Seattle Kraken tonight, trading away goaltender Michael DiPietro and defenseman Jonathan Myrenberg for center Jack Stadnika out of Boston. So let's talk about Stadnika a little bit. He's a 23-year-old center. He's six feet tall, weighs 187 pounds, and he's a right shot center. And you got to think that this was necessitated by the injury to Curtis Lazar, who's going to be out at least three to four weeks, according to Patrick Alvin yesterday. So if you have Miller, sometimes playing middle, sometimes playing wing, you have PD, you have Horvat, but it sounds like they wanted some more depth at the center position. You have Niels Oman playing okay at center, but do you want him, you know, uh, do you want him playing so far up the lineup? And then Sheldon Dries is actually slotting in today for Lazar. So in Sadnika, they get a bit more experience, a tiny bit more experience, and at least someone who's who's played a bit in the NHL. Again, 23 years old, drafted in the second round, 53rd overall in the 2017 draft. Actually, just a couple picks ahead of Jonah Gajevic, and that was 2017. That was the where we got Pedersen in the first round. We got Cole Lind at the top of the second round, Gajevic at the bottom of the second round. So uh, Stadnika gets picked two picks ahead of Gajevic. And since then, since getting drafted in 2017, he, he did one more year in Oshawa, and then he's basically been in the Boston Bruins farm system. He did play, so that's the Providence Bruins. He has played in the NHL in 1920. He played two games, had an assist. In 2020, 2021, he played 20 games, had three points, one goal, two assists. 21-22, he had 15 games and three assists. So prior to the season, two games, 20 games, 15 games, and then a total of only seven points in those in those 37 games so seven points in 37 games heading into the season this season he's, he's only played in one game and he had four penalty minutes in that one game now he did have a really good season in providence last year scoring 35 points in 41 games so almost a point per game player in the ahl he also had 36 penalty minutes so obviously a guy who's not afraid to to dust it up a little bit and to play with that sandpaper so he sounds like a little bit how curtis lazar uh, plays as well a uh, decent size. I'm not sure about his offensive skill yet, although I've seen a couple of highlights. He's been okay. And then he's definitely going to play with some sandpaper for sure. So that is Jack Sadnika, right shot center, coming over from Boston, necessitated by the injury to Curtis Lazar, especially, like I said, if they're going to start playing Miller on the wing. Otherwise, you can still go Miller, Petey, Horvat, and, and Niels Oman. But now you have Stadnika here. And I'm, I'm not saying at all that this means they're going to trade Horvat right away or anything like that. It just means they have more depth at center. Now, going the other way, I think we're all scared that they're going to trade away draft picks, future draft picks, and that's not what the Canucks should be doing right now. Instead, they trade away two, obviously, former draft picks. One highly touted one. Speaking of that 2017 draft, Michael DiPietro drafted by the Canucks in the third round in that 2017 draft, yeah, the Canucks had a decent draft that year. At least it looked like it on paper. PD, Lind, Gajevic, and then Michael DiPietro. But DiPietro never found his footing. A lot has been made about his, the COVID year where he stayed with the big team but rarely got to play, was only in practice. So that was two years ago. Then last year, just had an okay year in Abbotsford. So And he actually played better in Utica the two years prior to that. So DiPietro's stock has certainly fallen a lot in Vancouver especially with the emergence of, well, you already have Spencer Martin as the, the backup to Demko. And Archer Silovs had even passed DiPietro on the depth chart. Depth chart. And then uh, you brought in, the, um, what did I say, veteran Colin Delia as well. So DiPietro was probably number five on the depth chart. So you probably wouldn't get anything for him just by himself. So that's probably why you had to throw in the defenseman as well. I liked DiPietro when he was here. He had a really good personality, undersized goaltender, competed really hard, fought really hard, but simply there was no path for advancement for him here in Vancouver. With Myrenberg, he was just drafted last year, not 2022, but in 2021, fifth round, 140th overall. Right shot defenseman, yes, but um, I guess the Canucks don't see Myrenberg as the, the answer to all of their right shot defenseman woes playing in this in Sweden for the past few years had one decent season last year putting up 31 points in 35 games i didn't even know which uh 
which league this was in. Well, he's only 19 years old, so it must be in some sort of junior league. So Myrenberg, again, a right shot D-man, 19 years old, along with Michael DiPietro, who was also drafted in 2017, Light Stadnika, going to Boston for center Jack Stadnika. Canucks fans, let me know what you think of this trade. Do you think it's a setup for something else down the road? A trade for uh, trading away another center? Or do you think this is simply a, a stopgap insurance caused by the injury of Curtis Lazar? Let me know in the comments below. Also, if you're watching this in time, let me know what your score prediction is for tonight's game. Tonight, after the game, I'll be doing Game Over Vancouver for the Steve Dangle Podcast Network. And then I'll be doing my own stream at 11 p.m. tonight. So two streams tonight. I hope you can join me for both of them. Shout out to my sponsors, Van City Experts Real Estate Group and Perform and Transform Personal Training Weight Loss. Thank you, legendary Lucas Gates, legendary Justin Credible, legendary Andrew Chang, Hall of Fame and Franchise members. And thanks to all of you for supporting me on this channel. As always, subscribe if you'd like to, like this video if you'd like to, leave a tip, a super thanks if you'd like to, leave a comment down below if you'd like to. Let me know what you think of this trade. And this is the precursor for something bigger. And let me know what your score prediction is for tonight's game. I'll go 4-2 Canucks. Let me know who your first goal, goal score is. I'll say Elias Pedersen. Have a great night. I'll see you on my streams. God bless and go Canucks go.